Okay, we're going to go through the update process uh, again here. If you haven't downloaded the software um, on your download page, download the software here. Um, recommend downloading to your uh, desktop. So that's what we'll do. So what I'm going to do is just create a new folder. And um, I'm going to call it uh, AAB4 slash 4. And then we're going to save it into that folder. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go to that folder and then extract that zip folder. So here's our folder that we created, and here's the zip folder that we downloaded. So we're going to extract this folder. Okay, so when you go inside this folder, you'll have one .exe file. So we're going to uh, right-click on this and run as administrator. And then we're going to click yes. And then we'll just wait for the software to open. You will see some uh, other uh, folders, files being created. Don't You don't have to mess with any of those. So when the software comes up, what you're going to do is click on Run Auto Update. Keep in mind that I have the same software that everybody else has. Okay, and we've tested the update process over, I mean, probably 60, 70 times, and it's worked every time. So what we're going to do is click on yes that we want to update. Keep in mind the application will close. You'll see that it's starting to do the update in this section here. Okay, and uh, so it's now going to close. Now, wait, just be patient, and the software will open back up. And you don't need to do anything with any of, any of the other files that you see being created. Just wait till the software opens back up. The software opens back up, and what you want to do is click on Download Plugins. Please let this finish while it uh, downloads templates in the plugins. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, come back when that is completed. And it don't take but just a second. Okay, so once that's done, and, and again, it just it's lightning fast. It just takes a second to do. Once that is done, you can now go to your tools menu and then go to your license information. Put in your license information and choose your Amazon affiliate program. Okay, so we got that in. Now we're going to go through and run step one. So we just installed a fresh WordPress. So I'm going to copy this URL. Again, make sure you test this URL that it goes straight to the WP Admin login page. We're going to go to our software and paste this URL in. Make sure to remove, remove the backslash, the end slash at the end of the URL. Now we're going to put in the rest of our information. So I'll pause the video and when I get all the information put in. So I'll put in all of our information. I chose the template, chose the color scheme, um, uploaded a logo. Um, now I'm going to, instead of the, uh, having the software create the default categories, I'm going to choose uh, custom categories. And uh, now let's just go back and I'm just going to have it create the default categories. Okay, so we have everything. Now you can also save this site. If you want to save it, you'll create a profile and you'll save all of your information on your site. You can uh, save as uh, unlimited amount of, uh, of your WordPress site as you want. Okay, so we have all our information in and we're gonna click on run step one. And it's gonna go through the process of validating the license um, and just like it did before. Now it's a lot faster, um, but we'll wait and let it, the uh, software do its thing. Okay, so it uh, verifies the license, and it's going to ask you, do you want to continue? We're going to click yes, and you're going to see that it's going to start the process of step one. Now, if you're having problems with updating or whatever, you know, all I can do is show you here that it works. Um, and, and again, I have the same software as you do, so if something isn't working on your end, you know, the, it's, there's a 99% chance that either there's something wrong with your, P, you know, on your PC or your it's a user error. Okay, um, there's a 99% chance that those things are the problem and not the software. Um, actually, as of yet, we still haven't had a problem with the software. So, um, 
now it's going to go through and install uh, the plugins for us. It does this very, very fast. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, we'll come back when step one is uh, complete. So here it's just telling you that it's installing the plugins and it's going to tell you how far along it is. Um, and so it's very, very fast. So it tells us that our plugin install is complete. Um, didn't take but just a few seconds. Okay, step one is complete. Now it's time to move to step two and put in our Amazon affiliate information. So we put in our information and we're going to run step two and it's going through the process. Okay, so that's complete. Now it's time. Uh, now you want to make sure and do the content uh, syndication. You don't want to skip this, but for time purposes, I'm going to skip it for right now and go to add products. Okay, now um, when you get to uh, the add products by ASN or keyword, um, you can load the categories right here by clicking this button, or you can create a new category. So um, what I'm going to do is create a new category. Let's call it RC Choppers. Okay, so I'm going to create that category. And you can see the software is creating it for us now. Now it's going through and loading the uh, categories for us. Okay, so remember I asked the software to make the uh, default category. You can see all of them here and then plus the category that we just made. So I'm going to choose that category that we just made. And um, I'm now going to post products by ASI, ASIN. So over on Amazon, I'm going to grab some uh, products, copy those, and I'm going to go back and paste them in to the uh, software, and I'm going to click on Add Products. And now I'm going to let the uh, software uh, post the products to our site. It is very, very fast. Um, actually, you can post thousands of products very, very quickly. And you can see that it's already completed. Um, it just took a second. So um, we have our products posted to our site. So let's go ahead and just take a look at our site. Now, there is one thing that I forgot, um, and I, I want you to keep this in mind, and I, and I completely forgot about it. But um, on your site, your, your site's in the slider is pulling products from the special offers category. So it's always a good idea to put products into that category first before you um, put in uh, new categories or custom categories. So um, make sure and put products in the special offers category first. And so that's what I'm going to do now. So what I'll do is clear that. I'm going to go down. Whoops, I'm going to clear that, go down to the second page and grab some new ASINs. Remember, you can add as many ASINs as you want to this. You can just go to page after page after page and click and keep collecting. I'm gonna copy these and we're gonna post these into our special offers category. And we're gonna click on add products. We wanna do this to make sure we have products in our slider. Okay, so it's already completed that, um, and let's go and take a look at our site. And you see our site is here. Um, we've got all of our pages, um, all of our categories, and all of our products. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.